and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for Selesnya Control. This is a slow control deck. If you like slow control decks, this deck is for you. Basically, the whole point of this deck is your mana base. We want to hit lots of land drops and just get a huge mana advantage over the opponent and slowly uh, grind them down with the help of Dawn of Hope uh, with our big mana advantage. So we're playing a lot of stuff at instant speed here. And so you see like us having seal away, settle the wreckage. Um, we have the Dawn of Hope we can activate. So basically we get to like keep our four mana up for our Dawn of Hope. And if they attack with like a lot of creatures, we can settle them. But if they're scared to settle, they only attack with like one creature. We seal away that creature kind of thing. We can have the March of Multitudes in there. This is like one of the decks that I have where Wilderness Reclamation would actually be a, a pretty good upgrade to the deck. Or, it, you know, it'd fit in, at least it would fit into the deck well. But I don't like Wilderness Reclamation. We're not playing it. We got Karns and Vivians, which are Planeswalkers that say plus one draw land, basically. And that's important to hit more and more land drops. So we got we got those. We have, we have Field of Ruins, of course, also in here with our Crucibles. Crucible can... Have our Evolving Wilds, Field of Ruin. White Memorial is an option, but I I have definitely run out of basics a good amount with this deck. And honestly, White Memorial is just not really necessary once we have Dawn of Hope. It's, it's good, of course, with Crucible when you don't have Dawn of Hope. But to put in White Memorial, we'd have to take a basic out, and I've definitely ran out of basics. Because Field of Ruin gets basics. I want the Evolving Wild Crucible combo. That gets more basics. Uh, Thalmatic Compass gets basics. We need a lot of basics with this deck. Um, but yeah, so our deck is really defensive. And Thalmatic Compass works really well with Settle. <clears throat> forcing the opponent to attack with a lot of... You know, if they just attack with one creature, we just, you know, Thalmatic Compass it. Like the, the second part, the Spires of Araska, untap it. So they have to attack with multiple creatures, and then we settle them. And then, yeah, the other thing we can do with a whole lot of mana is, of course, play March of the Multitudes. So this deck is, um, you know, it's it's a slow grind. But <clears throat> if you are a person that likes slow grinds and wacky control decks, then uh, Selesnya Control could be for you. Yeah, I've played this list a few times before, and... We've done pretty good with it. I I think the first time we played it, we got five wins with it before Ravnica Allegiance. Uh, as you can see, there's not really any Ravnica Allegiance cards still in here. There wasn't really anything that I, I loved from the set for the deck. I think I've only played it one time since Ravnica Allegiance has gone out, and I don't remember how we did. I do I do remember the, us beating an Esper Control opponent and like grinding them down uh, with like Field of Ruin um, and just decking them. You know, like... <laughs> the game was just who is going to deck first kind of thing. And they they just drew a lot more cards than us and but they couldn't they couldn't actually kill us. Um and we just kind of just dealt with their Teferis with like Dawn of Hope tokens <laughs> kind of thing and just killed all their Teferis and I don't know, it was a crazy game. I I don't think, we, like, maybe we played against Wilderness Reclamation, like, Nexus. Maybe not. I, I don't know if we'd ever beat Nexus a Fate deck. Because, you know, like, they just don't care about combat. And that's, that's like, what we are. We're kind of like a Pillow Fort deck where we are just trying to make combat kind of miserable for the opponent. But if they're just playing a whole lot of spells and, and don't care about combat like that, like, you know, Nexus of Fate, that could, we may not be able to beat that. We do have, like, the Field of Ruins. And spyglasses to keep the Escantas from going. Yeah, so maybe maybe that actually happened. I don't remember, if, you know, if we played against that or not. That kind of deck. I don't know what what happened to our opponent, but I'll type some stuff for Mono Black Aggro for the YouTube channel here.
You are correct, Disposable Hero. Um, with us playing Instant Speed all the time, a, a Wilderness Reclamation would be nice for our deck, but that doesn't mean I'm playing it. Ooh, Hexproof from white? Annoying. Alright, start dropping Karns. A curious choice. And Settle works pretty well whenever we're trying to field to ruin our opponent a bunch. So, you know, like, they have less basics to go get anyway. Hmm. Am I going to settle next turn? My retribution will be swift. Swift. You hear that? Swift. You may regret that choice. Yeah, it looks like we got Orzhov Knights up first. Pretty cool. I like it. Kind of surprised they attacked with all. Or how they like mortified the land war elf before combat last time. Maybe they just wanted the one of the lands these days. That one. All right, take up. The wilds are my shield. Field of ruin. Just looking for some of our five five dinos. You can't stop nature. Hmm. Where's our dino there? The choices we make reveal who we There's are. a dino. I have some definitely playing Seal Away here. Yeah. And I think I just activate Treasure Map over 
playing a new treasure map. So yeah, Karn and Vivian basically let us keep hitting a lot of land drops, and then we, you know, we get lots of lands with those. Then we play these Sword Tooths, so we can have multiple land drops a turn. And then once we start getting a lot of lands, we draw extra cards to these Archer Roscos. Quende. Oh wait, it has Vigilance? Crap. How does this thing have Vigilance? Oh, Radiant Destiny? I didn't even look. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Another Karn. Nah, let's get a little bit of removal. Alright, draw a carton. Hmm. What was lost is now returned. This is nothing. Hmm. So we could die. Definitely possible we die here. All right, see you, Vivian. So Quende, of course, has double strike. Um, so they would trade with Sword Tooth. Do I want to make that trade? Like Vivian's dying. No, I don't think I make that trade. I'll be back, just like before. All right, that card's not bad. It's not like a settle the wreckage or anything. Hmm. We're at four artifacts right now. This is kind of tough. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Ugh. Really like to get one more settle. We could. I 
They have done a good job of drawing only four lands and all these things. Like one more settle would basically get this for us. Hey, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, this deck, um, uh, oh yeah, I forgot how much my computer does not like this deck, now it starts lagging. Man, this Twilight Prophet is killing us. I wish I didn't throw away that seal away. We gotta settle right on top, Hawkeye. So all the knights have double strike. We have to block all of them. Hmm. Not supposed to be a settle, Hawkeye. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we need to kill this Benelish Marshal and Valiant Knight. Those are the two things I want to kill. And then we chump all these. Twilight Prophets hit every single time. Alright, we need to hit Settle. Ugh. So close. I don't know where other settles were. Went through a long way through the deck. All right, I like our chances though for these other games. I feel like our opponent. Drew pretty good. Us, not so much. I think we got this. Let's bring in Lyra's 
And honestly, everything's pretty good in our deck. I could just cut the two March of the Multitudes. Yeah. Just pre play Lyra's for those. Probably want these other seal aways instead of Crucible. That looks good. <laughs> Girl says, I've never actually seen Tribal Knights draw poorly. All right, well, you're about to see it. Basically, binding, while binding is good, I didn't really see anything that I wanted to take out for binding. I guess I should land a war off there so I can car next turn. I want to find our Thalmatic Compasses. That was a card that I was missing last game. So if I play Vivian to kill the History, then the... Okay, I definitely have to stop on there. Then the History token kills Vivian. I will fight with honor. All right, we got lands. Done a good job of hitting our land drops. Oh, that's not you really a card I'm going to beat. Come so far. Be strong. Yeah, I don't think I've beaten that card. I guess that's that's the reason why I need to play binding here. You are only hurting yourself. Well chosen. Do exclamation point decks with plural. That's how you can find the mono black aggro deck list. Um, no 12 hour streams scheduled right now. We're pretty close to another one. You know, like we're here. We're pretty close to another one with Harry's. We only need five more people to sign up for Harry's. Deliver us to victory. Stop trying to tap a treasure cove. I guess this thing could attack a Johnny. That could be something for us, attacking a Johnny wise. You can play a single swamp in a deck with Niv. That's fine. All right, I need to bring in binding for this Ajani. See in yourself what I see in you. 
We also need to draw settle. Alright, so maybe we need a fourth settle in the sideboard. We are drawing a lot of cards, but none of them are settled the wreckage. Yeah, I could have a Cleansing Nova. It's a possibility. Settle works really well with Dawn of Hope. Everything. You are capable of more than you assume. Donut has had a good hand. So Hero, I guess, I guess we've not seen a, a Night deck draw poorly. The problem is just the Ajani, fire. though. Ha. I've seen worse. Not having March of the Multitudes is going to be tough for us, too. Or Crucible. We fight together. Honestly, like, really, if it's just not for this Ajani, like, we can win this. Like, we would have, like, <laughs> we'd be able to beat everything else. No, we didn't face Esper. Um. Sorry, just trying to think of how to get out of this. I'm s sorry I'm not doing the best job chatting. Ten mana right now. Means I only make two things, two creatures. Until you have lived as a statue, do not talk to how convenient. An excellent choice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, um, 
Yeah, I mean, you just against Esper, you just bring in the the duresses and you bring in the extra Midnight Reaper and cut like some cast downs and chupacabras and Look stuff. Look how far you have come. He was marching the multitudes. Uh, what do I have over here? Treasure map. Sword tooth. I have the sword tooth. This will aid us. Yeah, I feel pretty silly by not bringing in the Ixalan's bindings. I, I just didn't, I wasn't considering a Johnny at all whenever I was sideboarding. You know, if, if it wasn't for a Johnny emblem, we would have this easily locked up, but we're just not going to deal with a Johnny emblem. Strength is born of struggle. But that's, that's the only reason why. We're going to lose this as the Johnny emblem. Just didn't, didn't have anything for a Johnny. So that's that's my fault not bringing in binding or spyglass. I just spyglass would have been a good one to bring in. Also, Are you certain of your decision? Nope. Not certain at all. Will lend you my strength. What? I mean, am I just going to be able to kill the Benelish Marshal? Like, can I just block with Sword Tooth and kill that thing? Yes, with purchasing me undies, you get a, a five dollar donation deck for uh, getting me undies. You can get a donation deck for only five dollars. Can I? 
Can I somehow beat three creatures a turn? Before I deck. I'll make use of that later. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen. Yeah, sorry, Hoku. Yeah, me and easy get the the five dollar donation deck with that one with Quip. Quip and, ha Quip and Movement, you get a free one. Uh, Harry's, you get a $10 one, half price. And then Meundies, you get you can have a $5 one. Strength is born of struggle. unwisely. Yep, there you go. Okay, yeah, that's what that is. Oh, come on. That's not even really that bad for us. That's rid of the Radiant Destiny. Man, our deck is crazy. They're gonna have double a Johnny emblem. Are, are we gonna be able to beat double a Johnny emblem? You are capable of more than you assume. Seriously, if it's if it's not a Johnny, we'd have this game locked up so easily. Yeah, I'm trying to play through this a Johnny alt. I don't know, we, we maybe can. Thank you so much. All right, so yeah, any deck you'd like uh, played at any time, just let me know. All right, where's our Lyra Dawnbringer? Good choice. We gotta find it eventually, right? Like we're about to deck. We're at thirty-seven. Ugh, how do I get more cards in my deck and have them mill out first? I don't know if that's possible. All right, Dawnbringer, where you at? Let's see if you'll come to me. Yeah, it does look like we're going to be milling ourselves. I should not have taken out March of the Multitudes. Well, really, I just need to bring in Binding for this. Stupid Johnny. About to ultimate a second time. Deliver us to victory.
Oh, you, you PM'd me one on Tuesday? Okay. Uh... Oh, yeah, I guess I just I just missed it. I saw it. Or, like... Yeah, I just, I just guess I missed it. But, yeah, it's here. It's... I gotcha. Alright, found that link. Abzan Battlement. Perfect. Perfect. We don't want Vivian to stay alive, huh? Like, maybe we can ultimate Vivian? Your patience is rewarded. It's possible we could ultimate Vivian. Meet my newest friend. I'm just not going to take any of these. I keep cards in my library. Vivian ult. Yeah, could beat the Johnny ult. It's it's really can can we ultimate Vivian and kill our opponent before before we dead? possible don't don't go anywhere yet this game may not be over look how far you have come this is a crazy game that out of there get this out of there just remove that thing from combat remove this thing from combat Just block this with all five. It only kills one, but you know, might as well just gain five life instead of just gaining one life. Do I want to draw the extra card? Maybe decline, honestly. At this point. Yeah. I decline. Good. It's a good draw. We have to find our other Lyra now, right? I've like, seen we've just seen the whole deck. Someone like you. Is there only one Lyra in this deck? Uh, it doesn't show you what you've seen. I thought I had two in here. The time I don't even want to plus come. up Karn anymore. Guess I'm getting some treasure maps. Oh, maybe I should have just got that forest. Ah, oh, lag. This is a lot of game objects. I should have grabbed that forest. Of 
Can we beat two Ajani emblems? I think we can beat this Ajani emblem. Can we beat a second one also? The ultimate on Vivian makes all of our give, gives all of our creatures plus two plus two vigilance, trample, and indestructible. All right. So next Monday, let me write that down. Friends. Abzan Battlement. Hey, Lil Morg, good afternoon. Oh! No, you actually want to activate some of those spires of Rosca's. Dang it. Forgot about that. I was... Just forgot about that. Might be. Alright, well, I guess I'm just gonna... Block that, block that, and I guess I have to use four of these things. You're not walking out of here. Five, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nothing is ever truly lost. Let's make it twenty mana. So 20 mana plus the three Spires of Raska. Get five Dawn of Hope tokens each turn. I think we got this. It's, it's just whether we can we kill our opponent in 14 draw steps. They're getting six 1-1s one a turn. Six 1-1 one one lifelinkers a turn. But we're getting... Yeah, I think we got Yeah, we got this. Yeah, we got 15 power enough. each turn. Man, I bet, I bet, like, how many of, of y'all in chat, go ahead, raise your hand, how many of y'all in chat would have uh, just conceded this game long, long ago? So they get, they get Vivian with third chapter of Eldest Reborn to kill Dawn of Hope, but we got another Dawn of Hope. I would have scooped eight weeks ago. I would have conceded on two or three more matches by now. Yeah, this is only just game two. This could all be for not. Our opponent played turn four a Johnny, and we basically never got rid of it, let it ultimate, let it ultimate again, and we still had enough defense to be able to beat that? This is insane that we won this game. 
No, I'm not playing Karn for Karn Strux. I'd rather just activate Dawn of Hope with these life linkers. I don't know. I guess I could play Karn for Karn Strux. Yeah, I guess we could. Oh, well, they're dead anyway. Wait, no. Yeah, back to 12. All right. All right, Karn for Karn Strux. Jesus, call us mana. Evil must not be colored. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. <laughs> They're going to kill the seal away? They're probably going to kill the Dawn of Hope, right? Wow, what a crazy game. I can't believe we won this. <laughs> BMBK says one of the best games of Would Magic like I've ever seen. Yeah, this was time? this was a great one for sure. This was something else. Not only did our opponent have like that ultimate going, they even Urza's Ruinous Blast us. No one said restoration. You know, they, was they even Urza's Ruinous Blast earlier to like exile. Like a bunch of stuff. Oh gosh. Yeah, they had turn four Johnny, which we never dealt with. Let them ultimate. Let them ultimate again. Hey, there is the. That had to be in the very bottom card of our library. Yeah, because we ticked up. Vivian four times. That would be the other 12 on the bottom. And we only have three settles. So it's not like we settled like over and over and over again. We still have a settle in our deck too from the Vivian. We've only cast two settle wreckages. Just those two. So even with all these Ajani ults, I only had to cast two settle wreckages to deal with all the creatures my opponent had. That shows you just how powerful the combination of Dawn of Hope and Treasure and uh, Spires of Araska are. Dawn of Hope was just so insane this game. Unreal how Dawn of Hope just took over through a Johnny Ultimates. Okay, so I should probably play Binding, but maybe Spyglass? I don't know. <clears throat> Them having Urza's Ruinous Blast, that's kind of annoying. I guess I should, I should play Binding instead of Seal Away. Want to do anything else? <laughs> Thanks, Zibaj. That was... Oh, y'all are so nice. Yeah, that was a heck of a game. Yeah, this is the first opponent. That was game two. That was the... <laughs> Seraph says, I can honestly say two things. That's the, One, that's the first time I've seen two Ajani Ultimates. And two, that's the first time I've seen somebody win through two Ajani Ultimates. This hand kind of looks like it'll just get ran over. I mean, we'll have, we'll have turn two treasure map. That's probably worth keeping, turn two treasure map. Mm, I don't like the two Vivians. I, I definitely like Dawnbringer. You know, I like the first five cards. I think I'll keep. I have beaten S. I know the last time we played this deck, I did beat Esper Control the one time I played against it. I think just the one time. I don't know. I remember beating Esper Control. Just uh, Crucible Worlds beat down the Esper Control opponent. I remember that just like 
field of ruining all their lands, not letting them play anything. Did my opponent let me go first? They did. Do I even want to upkeep scry? No, I'm just gonna regular scry. Or I'm just gonna I'm gonna wait till after I evolving wild before I start scrying. Scrying. Yeah. So I'll shuffle the deck again here. Uh, I do need the fifth land. Don't have a Johnny, please. I don't want to fight through that again. All right, that's fine. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm just killing myself. What am I doing? I need to play Dawnbringer this turn. What am I doing? I played that second game so well, and then I just threw that away. What was I doing? Well, they would have just mortified the Dawnbringer, but we would have at least had we would have had a second Dawnbringer though. They mortified Dawnbringer. We have a second one that I just put on the bottom. What if I had a seal away here, and my opponent said good game, and I could just treasure map into seal away? Wow, that, what, it... what was I doing there? But it's kind of, you know, it's just so instinctual to just scry on upkeep kind of thing. And I just, I was thinking about other things and I just scryed on upkeep and didn't play the Lyra. So if we play the Lyra, they mortify the Lyra, hit me down to that same amount, I would have been able to play another Lyra, but then they they wouldn't have had the Benelish Marshal in play and could have stabilized. Yeah, so anticlimactic after the game too, true. I should have just mulliganed my hand also. I was not a good keep. All right, this is a lot better than last time. Get Dawn of Hope. That card's good. Gate. Gate. Yeah. 
Is this just soul tie with a bad mana base? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. The game two is so epic. It's good enough. And... At least... At least one loss means that, you know, we lose another one, we're done. Because this deck does take a long, long time to play. But I think... I think I probably should have just mulliganed into that game three hand. Oh, well, like where we're at here with the two field of ruin, definitely want to draw Crucible of Worlds. That would be a really good card to draw. I want to keep the Gates opponent off of, like, Guild Summit. Swordtooth? Wow, I'm jealous. Definitely do not want to be drawing basics here. It's our worst draw. Alright, now we'll get the upkeep stop in. Settle, please. Not a settle. Hmm. Like, well, can't say that I've drawn better before. We have a Dawn of Hope and a Treasure Map. We got 13 lands out of the deck so far out of 15 cards. And we know our 14th land is on the bottom. So we're good there. Not scared to settle. Both those things have trample. Let's do a trample. A Galta. No, it's not the Zombies deck. It's similar. But no, the Mono Black Aggro was uh, Dreadshade and Spawn of Mayhem. So I want Seal Away and Binding. I'm not sure what I don't want. I can probably win this one without March of the Multitudes. I do want Crucible against the Gate deck. This is a good good opponent to be Crucibling. And 
I don't know. Everything else is good. I guess I could cut a Karn. And a Vivian. But they may have, like, Guild Summit that we want to kill with Vivian. But we also have the Binding now. I like our our opponents just kind of playing the the same kind of cards they played last time. I like our chance, but they could have like a lot of this. This could be a deck with you know who knows what they have in this four color deck here. It could have a bunch of counter magic uh, disenchants. Who knows? Speaking of mono black aggro, I think I got it up there on. I'm about to have it up there on YouTube. All right, it's up there now. Okay, we play you. Playing this land so that we still get to scry here with treasure map. I should probably keep that. We saw how last game went. Still two permanents away from turning on Arch and Sword Tooth. So basically next turn, whenever we, we flip map next turn, we'll be able to turn those on. I want to have the... Y'all you know, talking about the Boar God. I want to have the Boar God sneak in Itali and have Itali just enter the battlefield attacking so that Itali can trigger immediately. That's what I want to do with the Boar God. Hey, Johnny Popeye, good evening. Yeah, whatever. So I can sack two treasures right now to draw a card with Arch of Araska. Don't think that's probably worth it. No, Itali doesn't trigger. Or Itali doesn't trigger when Borgod cheats in Itali. No, that was my whole plan. Plan has been thwarted. Alright, so yeah, we need to sneak in Jisath instead then. That sounds good. No land drops for the opponent. Well, they don't have lands. They don't get rams. Yeah, the zombie god looks pretty good, too. The, the new Bantu. I 
I think Enter the God Eternals. I think that card is really strong. The five mana sorcery. It deals four to a creature. You gain four life. Target player mills four, and then you make a four four. So a five. So a five mana four four. Especially if you're not playing other amass things. Five mana four four. Uh, that ETBs and deals four damage, and you gain four life. Not bad at all. So drawing the card with Archer Raska there, because seeing if we could draw another land. I think if you if you dealt the four damage to kill a god, I think it would do you would finish resolving the entire card first. So it would not be able to mill over a god that you just killed that turn. How convenient. An excellent choice. Love that my opponent just gave me that Thalmatic Compass. This game is very over. It just may take us a really long time to actually win the game. Giving me the Thalmatic Compass. Are you certain of your decision? Just need to find. Need to find Crucible Worlds. Game is not as over as it was before that Gates of Blaze. But drawing Crucible World should be really good for us. Three, four, five. But I definitely miss my sword tooths. I really use those. All right, maybe the game's not over. Eh, it's probably over. Of that laser. Mm, crucible. Crucible. Crucible.
Give me that crucible. You don't want me having a seal away. Give me that crucible. Come on. Yeah, we just want the crucible animation. Hooray! So good. I'm sad two of my sword tooths are dead. Summer angel. So looking for more sword tooths. Right a boot now. We have the Rams binding. Basically, see if they find. They find enchantment removal. Hmm, they really want the black mana. Where's the sword tooth at? Ooh, there's a sword tooth. Give me sword tooth. Come on, opponent, please give me sword tooth. Wow, the opponent's so nice. Just giving me everything I want all the time. It's so nice of them. Does Karn have a crucible on his art? Like the globe? I don't think the globe is a crucible. I think it's just a regular globe. I think. I went and searched out both of these black lands. So I'm going to destroy them both. Basically just counter countering the circuitous route, kind of. Whoa, Zerf, Zerf with the tier 3 sub yet again. Let's get some hype in the chat. Tier 3 subs count as 6. Subs towards our sub battle countdown. We are down to 50 there now. Thank you, Zerf. You are amazing.
So now I'm basically looking for my last sword tooth. Really start destroying these lands even faster. <laughs> yeah, if you tier three, I can never play this again. If you would, if you'd like. Meta game's gonna be changing here. This this may be my last time playing the deck anyway. It's it's so so slow. <laughs> it really is. I don't know. I just kind of felt like playing it for one one more time today. All right, that's good for us. It's not a gate to blaze. I just don't want gate to. I don't want my sword tooth to die. Creatures I don't really care about. You know, there are spires of Roscos and everything. <clears throat> We are just a pillow fort deck. The choices we make reveal who we are. I don't have any basics to go find anymore. But I think it's still just worth paying two mana to destroy a land. So cool, it's like we're so safe right now. <laughs> we just don't even have to worry about our opponent killing us. Even if we didn't even have settles in our hand, just like these spires of Arazka. This card is awesome, Thaumatic Compass. This card's under underrated. Yeah, I gotta love two strip mines a turn. We got the Crucible. Sword tooth strip mine combo. Next turn, I'm blowing up both the red sources. I assume our opponent has a good amount of lands left in their hand. You know, they're drawing tons of cards with the, their guild summit, but their lands do come into play tapped. So if we can, if we can just not have gates of blaze this turn. Awesome. Because now, like, if, they're, if their land's always coming to play tapped, we can destroy their red source before it pops up. So we're just going to be able to eventually go wide here. So yeah, we got, got this game. The futility of attacking. We got over here another field of ruin. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Yeah, their untapped lands left should be plaza, but if we if we get rid of all the red sources, the plaza won't add anything. Decline.
<laughs> thought I wasn't doing a 12 hour stream today. <laughs> That's why I threw away the game three of our first match. We'll probably lose this game three also because these games are so long. <laughs> it's kind of good just to lose. But the game two that we played last match was completely epic. And it was good to win that. And then it's like, okay, well, that's probably enough. This game's pretty epic, too. <laughs> yeah, our opponent's just playing Simic Gates. They, they couldn't, <clears throat> couldn't get the uh, breeding pools. Didn't have enough rare wild cards. I guess I'm showing them settle for game three, <clears throat> but it just ends the game. <laughs> Might as well just end the game. All right, so they are playing Guild Summit. So do I want an extra Vivian in here? It's like I could continue and just, you know, like untap their things and, and everything, but might as well just, and not show them settle. Might as well just end the game. Honestly, I probably just don't even have to cast settle there. I think, actually, I probably just had lethal if I just like let the damage go through. I think I still just had lethal of just attacking, just the crack back of just not, not untapping anything, just activating uh, Dawn of Hope a couple of times. Yeah, so actually just not attacking, or not even casting Settle was just lethal. I should just let Karn die. Activate Dawn of Hope a couple of times. Attack our opponent. So then didn't have to show Settle. Our opponent was really nice to us last game, though. That twice in a row they gave us like Crucible of Worlds when I, whenever I was asking for it, and then gave us Sword Tooth. They were pretty nice. See, the way doesn't get rid of the ram. That's annoying. Yeah, ram has vigilance. That's annoying. Why, do, why does the ram need vigilance? Do I kill Rhythm of the Wild with Vivian next turn if opponent doesn't play anything? You're kind of cold. I'm putting on my slipper, my slippers.
So what's the point of making your gay colossus a nine nine instead of an eight eight haste? It doesn't it just you know, eight times three is twenty four, that kills you very quickly. Nine times three is twenty seven, it's not like that extra three points matter. Yeah, either way, it's a three-turn clock. Um, I should probably keep that. Even though we don't really have anything to feel to ruin yet. How this thing that can't help you now. All right, just getting that out of there so we don't have to worry about haste right here. Even though we do have the seal away for protection in case of haste, but it could be like a ram with haste. Um, would have been bad for us. Balance comes. One, two, three, four, five. Why don't you sit in with all the lands over there? Meet my newest friend. Hmm. What color do I want to take out? Like red? I mean, that thing's the first thing to go, of course. Shuffling, because I like putting that sword tooth back in, see if we can draw it. Ooh, that's a good one. Guess I just get rid of this the the black source, I suppose. Yeah, the opponent only has two basics and they already have them both in play, so. Just get a, a double strip mine in there. Let's see if we can draw our crucible. Alright, well that's something I need to Ixlong's binding. The wild wasn't meant to be contained. I mean, I guess I could just minus three Vivian, Sometimes kill the Gate Colossus, means or binding Gate Colossus, either way, and then have Swordtooth attack Vivian. Ooh, Ronus is out now? Three GG, five five Death Touch. When it ETBs, double the power of each other creature you control until end of turn. Those creatures gain vigilance until end of turn. What is that? I've seen things that would break someone like you. 
That's ridiculous. I don't even know what else the car does. That sounds silly. Let's do this again. That's what I'm talking about. Um. What else does it say? And then whenever it dies, you put yeah. Dies or spun to exile, you put third to the top. Wow. The Ronus from. The previous from uh, Amonkhet also had, maybe, was it Hour? I think, no, it was from Amonkhet. Not Hour Devastation. That Ronus also had Death Touch. So I guess it's like, it's like a snake. Maybe it's a snake god. That's where the Death Touch comes from. More sword tooths, please. Comes. Dang. Uh, get rid of red. Yeah, Bantu was menace last time. Bantu is still menace. This deck is sweet. Yeah this, does, yeah, this does feel like modern value 10. Just a lot slower. But we get Maze of Ith? That's crazy. Our opponent's just so dead, they just have no... No permanents left. Well, pretty soon they won't. <laughs> Doom Quill, you've only been here for 20 seconds, but I like this deck already. Crucible Worlds is my favorite kind of jank. If y'all missed it, our game two last round was incredible. My opponent played in a Johnny on turn four that I had no answer to, that I let ultimate so I could get three cats a turn. Still didn't have any answer to it. Let them ultimate it again. And, uh... We still won. And I only used two Settle the Wreckages. And we still won. Our opponent could not get through with double a Johnny ultimate. Making six things a turn. <laughs> Couldn't even get through. I had just so much mana and Dawn of Hope, and I eventually just ulted it, ultimated a Vivian, and then mine were just bigger. The wild And barely killed our opponent before we milled out. Ah, lag. Yeah, you can get two of the same emblem. That's how many times a Johnny ticked up and everything. Lag. You can pick the cards up, opponent. You cannot win anymore. I went for the white sources the first time, and then I realized, wait, I should should be going after blue sources. So now I'm going after blue, but we'll leave we'll leave them with one of each. That's a nice thing to do. Okay. Honey.
So Vivian will be ultimating here in a little bit. The opponent's plan of having very large creatures is a plan that we are generally good against. Can we find another sword tooth? You can't stop nature. No. So our opponent has two lands, two cards in hand, and one creature on the battlefield. We have... Uh, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 lands. Seven cards in hand. Planeswalker is about to ultimate. Just when you win with this deck, you win big. Yes, St. Nick, we know that about Michael Jackson. Don't need to talk about that here in chat, though. But, like, yes, we know that he was a horrible person. They recently had that documentary about, about him. Vivian says it's time. That means it's time. So time to just ultimate, time to attack, end this game. And we are now one and one. Some long games, like we said, at the, like I said at the very beginning of this, if you like a long, drawn-out control deck that won't be ending games anytime soon, and as you know, it's different. You know, it's not the same kind of control decks that you see running around. This is the um, this is the deck for you. favorite decks at the moment. Um, no, Dawn of Hope. No, I should have played Dawn of Hope. Ugh. Uh, I didn't get that in time. Still want to just... Alright, let's shuffle our library, you know, before we're actually activating the treasure map. Let's get this back in here. <laughs> Take this to FNM and plan to play one game per round. Just all you gotta do is win one nothing. Uh oh, leave Sandy. I mean, good news is we don't really have any good cards in our deck.
And even though, you know, Seal Away was our best possible thing we could draw, Thalmatic Compass was not that far away. The problem is we're no, we, don't, we don't get to flip Thalmatic Compass here for a little bit. Them grabbing, like, our Crucible Worlds is, like, a thing that could be a problem. Okay. While that's not... Well, it doesn't look like that's something I should take. That does let me... That does give me seven lands this turn. So we get to flip Thaumatic Compass this turn. Without the sword tooth, we're not flipping compass. And now we're drawing two cards a turn, thanks to the treasure cove. So we just find a, some answer to the thief of sanity here. Yeah, so they've ditched four lands for us, plus, you know, they've taken two cards, but... <laughs> okay, well, don't get to really do anything with that. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No! Fourteen. All right, so we got fourteen lands out of the deck right now. And I'm drawing two cards a turn, so perfect. Perfect. Good draws, good draws. Just go ahead while while we know they're tapped out and this can just resolve. Let's go ahead and take that. Now our opponent's gonna have to find something else. Alright, you can take Chief Sandy, sure. They should attack here first to make me use the spires of Arazka. Oh, they're just going to take a treasure. Right. That's still fine. I was planning on popping that treasure to draw a card anyway. I've lost so much already. Feel the wrath of Scala. The problem is that's two. My Dawn of Hopes are my win con, and that's two of our Dawn of Hopes gone now. There's only one other. There's three Dawn of Hopes in the deck, so we have one more in here somewhere. Fires of Roska is so good. Um, let's go ahead and crack this. Good card, good card. No one knows the wilds like I do. More lands. Always want lands. You're playing Arch of Araska deck. Hey, Gatsby. Make this a little harder. Her 
Hooray! That was certainly the card I wanted to see. It's our last dawn of hope. Tetrak, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub there. Third sub of the day. Thank you very much. That gets us to 49 here. No, my treasure map. One, two, three. Ah, we'll just cry. Karn doesn't do anything with the Mortal Sun in play. They are a Demir deck. They, I don't think they'll have any answer for this Dawn of Hope. Like, I think we're going to be able to win this with Dawn of Hope. Like, Dispersal is really what they're looking at, right? Like, that's, like, the only thing. But we already we have, the, you know, things that cost more. At least we have the Vivian that cost more. That was a bad card for me to draw right there. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they got a Mortal Sun and Treasure Map going. I tapped it to add one green. I didn't convoke it. The Elf. A mesmerizing Benthid. Sweet. Cool card, cool card. I think I'll trade three tokens for a hostage taker. Do I want to trade the other three tokens for the other hostage taker? Maybe not. Gain six life from this attack. Go to twenty two. What? They had my march of the multitudes and just cast it for zero? They had my other march? Well, bad news is I don't have another march in my deck. Good news they just wasted it, but bad news I don't have another march in my deck. So it's it's literally just this Dawn of Hope is all I have that can win. All my other Dawn of Hopes and marches, like everything else is dead. 
And I guess I could have like some Wayward Sword twos, but like th those aren't really winning. It's it's literally just this Dawn of Hope is like my win condition here. And I'm I'm saving Vivian uh, because of dispersal. So that's why our opponent wanted their hostage taker to die. Mm. If I play treasure map, I just give them treasure map. So I guess I just discard it. Because I'll be giving them this treasure map with their hostage taker. I'm at 27 cards, they're at 30. And they have a whole lot more card draw. So basically, do they have anything in their deck that's going to beat my Dawn of Hope? That's all this game is right now. No, Mono Black Aggro was, while well, similar to Zombies, it was a, a new deck that I made this morning. Kind of built around zombies, but just... Four blockers. We get five through. Let's wait a little bit more before we attack. Wow, that looks really cool, that Desperate Lunge. Wow, that looks really cool. Ravnica held its breath as the hero of the Resistance, their last hope, flew through the sky, his dark sword ready to strike a god. Gideon versus Bolas there. Twenty six and twenty nine. I don't want Gideon to die. I like Gideon. Yeah, that Gideon the Oathsworn card, that is horrible, horrible art. That face, oh yeah, that's just not, that's not good. I, I shouldn't say horrible, horrible art, but that's probably the worst Gideon art there is. No, you're not evil if you want to see Bolas win. I like Bolas too. I don't really want Bolas to die either. I don't I don't really want any of them to die. I like all the characters. I appreciate 
all the characters. I don't want them to be. To, I don't want them to die. Why not attack with one or two soldiers to draw cards? There's there's just nothing that we need to draw right now. There's there's nothing in our deck that's a a card that I am looking to draw. I'm just gonna make use my mana to make more soldiers and just try to go wide. We have like there's nothing in our deck that does anything right now. So our opponent's sitting there on waiting. They're choosing their third chapter things. All right. Donathope's really good, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's let's get a reset in here. It is a little laggy. Let's get a reset. Yeah, our opponent conceded the whole match. I don't think our opponent had Soot. Uh, main deck. If they are... You know, they're playing like all those Thiefus Andes and stuff. Like, probably not. Yeah, it's probably sideboard. Yeah, War is basically Avengers with Bolas as Thanos. Do you think that's how the story is going to end? Do you think Bolas is going to cast the Elder Spell and the Elder Spell kills half of exactly half of the Planeswalkers? And so like out of like the 36, like we'll have like 18 of them left after this Elder Spell. So mono white splash counter magic. That's what it looks like we got over here. <laughs> yeah, I think we can let Dovin go too. I never liked Dovin. Yeah, Dovin can go. They'll do some goofy Twilight thing where it's a fairy goes back in time. Or goes back and shows Bolas he can't win, then he goes and sulks in meditation realm for 10,000 years. So Settle the Record should be pretty good in this matchup. I'd like to draw a land. I'd like to be able to play Dawn of Hope and hold up Settle. Or like Dawn of Hope plus the... Um... So we just have to hold up settle. Yeah, I'm going to just try to draw a land again and be able to play Dawn of Hope and be able to activate it. Perfect. I 
I guess I can play Swordtooth and they can both block. I guess I should do that. I can just activate treasure map. I don't need to pretend like I have a settle. Right now, get a couple 5-5 five, five blockers. A good spot here. We'll see if they have any main deck counter magic. Usually, this deck doesn't have main deck counter magic. I'm going to be using a treasure here to cast the settle. But I like I like kind of pretending like I don't have settle available. wanted to minus one card and just play the land. <laughs> yeah, these Benelish Marshals are real big. Resolve. To so make makes Dawn of Hope strong, you know, like they were playing around settle, attacking with three, trying to play around settle, and then you know, they just see I'm just getting more and more mana with the Dawn of Hope and they're like, eh, I'm just gonna attack with all these things and Boom. There's sell the wreckage. <laughs> we exiled the opponent too. Yeah. <laughs> Just exiled all of them. <laughs> so Shalai is probably too small to do blocking. Like they're gonna have like their own conclave tribunals. Like, do I want Crushing Canopy for Conclave Tribunal? Guess I don't need Crucible in this matchup. But like, this is going to be tough after sideboarding with them having, like, negates and stuff. Like, they just get to sit back and wait till they have negate available, basically. Hmm. 
I mean, I don't really want to play Vivian, but we kind of have to play Vivian for the Conclave Tribunals. Hmm. They don't actually play Dawnbringer. That's probably wrong. <laughs> Thanks, between 3 and 25 characters. Welcome back. Yeah, we've had a fun day today, too, playing some newer decks. The Simic midrange that we have up next is a new version of Simic that I put together today that's, like, kind of a... You know, like... I've been playing three different Simic decks that I like. Simic Adapt, which is built around the Adapt theme and has, uh, like, Biomancer's Familiar in it. And there are Simic Elves, which is, you know, like, has all the Elves in there. And then I have uh, Quasi Dupla Ooze, which is, you know, trying to to Biogenic Ooze Quasi Duplicate. So they all have like their own little theme in there, like their own little uh, you know, their own shtick. So, but I, you know, I, I think they're all pretty good and I like what, what they're doing. But like I said, they're, they're not they all kind of have their own shtick. And so what I have here with the Simic Midrange is just kind of taking, like, good parts from all of them and uh, putting them together and and seeing, like, what would, like, a, a Simic deck, if I was trying to build a Simic deck to, um, like, with just, like, the intent of making the best Simic deck I could, what would it look like? And, you know, it's just a, a first draft, but that's what we have for up next. Like, if I'm... I'm going to have to play a bunch of ranked ma matches to try to get to Platinum for, like, the Vrasses Contempt. And I was like, all right, if I'm just playing a Simic deck for, for that, like, what would I want it to look like? Yeah, we may lose. We'll see. Yeah, it's the good the good part about playing a bunch of settles. Like settle Dawn of Hope is can really buy you a lot of time. <laughs> Doom Quill noticed that. Yeah, I, I masked over my, my settle that I was considering playing over here. Gotta keep the opponent honest, you know. No! You know, Swordtooth won't be able to block.
Dang. So they're playing baffling ends? My oh, last card to get rid of. Uh, already did play mono black aggro. As you see, like this is today's decks. We're moving down the chain. We played mono black aggro uh, earlier. Um, The replay is up on the YouTube channel there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG, if you want to like check out the deck and stuff. Ugh, I don't have green or white mana. Besides that, my cards are good. I guess I'm going for white mana? Maybe green? I guess green. I have less, I have more green sources than white sources. Keep drawing lands. Our hand, our hand's good enough. We just need to draw lands. Well, of course, obviously, if Dawn of Hope dies, then you know we'll have to draw something else. But for now, just lands would be nice. All right, gonna scry in with this treasure map. But yeah, I'm going to be playing the Mono Black Aggro deck again tomorrow. I liked it. I was pretty impressed with it. Uh, we talked about some changes at the end that I want to make to it uh, at the end of, of playing it. We have four, five, six, seven, eight. So next turn we'll have next turn we'll have the sword tooth turned on. We're down to eight. Gross. like to feel the ruin away that glacial fortress but more importantly we need to find a settle hmm 
Alright, so let's heal away the Aspirant. Alright, that's a good card. Oh, I only have six lands. That is not good. I only have six lands. Why am I land short? Just relax over here, opponent. Well, the other Gideon would be is the Planeswalker deck Gideon. But yeah, we talked about there's there's the other card in particular that was really cool art. Dang it! Should be able to ruin that fortress. Ugh. I need to be able to. I really need to activate Dawn of Hope twice here though, which is why I didn't field a ruin. What? Oh my god. Thank you so much for not taking Dawn of Hope. I shouldn't have tapped the Field of Ruin. I should have tapped one of these. Shouldn't have tapped. Should not have tapped Field of Ruin. Yeah, we were still dead if our opponent did attack out. Which they did. We need our opponent to be scared to settle still. They were not. If they would not have attacked with the Benelish Marshals, it would have been fine. All right, well, two and two. It it seemed like we needed the the fourth settle in the in the sideboard. The Shalais were just not necessary. I think we want fourth settle in the sideboard and I think we want like one baffling end or a revitalize or another march no another just another lyra no I think a baffling end I don't know kind of want just a revitalize actually I know it's kind of weird just playing a revitalize, but I 
I actually kind of want to revitalize. Or a Cleansing Nova. Actually, yeah. Let's do a Cleansing Nova. For just the Destroy All Creatures part. Yeah. Yeah, turn those Shalai's into a Settle and a Cleansing Nova. Yeah. Um... Okay, so that's Lesnia Control. Had some really, really cool games. Don't really mind having the 2-2 two -two there because it's still such a long league, even with the 4. And so I don't really mind not playing uh, more matches with the deck, to be honest. Uh, but it's some awesome games. That first round, game number 2, was incredible. One of the best games ever played in my life. So I uh, certainly uh, was glad that we played the deck. Um, if you want, Again, if you want a really slow uh, prison-style deck, this is a fun one. Um, had some fun playing the games, even though it does take a very long time. Yeah, it's a weird deck. Um, Resplendent Angel isn't just not really what the deck's about. Like, you have to, like, attack a bunch with Resplendent Angel and everything. I don't know. You could, by the time you're, like, making enough lifelink tokens to gain enough life. Like, Resplendent Angel doesn't block very well. It's just a 3-3 three, three for 3. It's not a necessary card, really. Yeah, Vivian. Vivian was good. That's how that's how we'd win uh, at some of our games. Just Vivian Ultimate. Uh, that's that's like a good way to win is Vivian Ultimate. Um, Vivian, like you sure we only have the eight creatures and four of them are land where else, but this deck really cares about having lots of lands and lots of land drops. Uh, even that last game that we played, you know, like when we have like sword tooth in play, we just want more lands in our hands so we can just throw more lands on the battlefield, uh, and you know, not having. You know, so like that's like Vivian and Karn. All they do is tick up and find lands, and that's that's perfect. That's that's what you want. You want more lands, because uh, then when you have more lands, you go get you know you get your Arch Verazkas that they start drawing cards and and everything. And as we talked about before, yes, this deck would be a little better with like one or two Wilderness Reclamations. I don't know exactly where, but just like probably over one of the Planeswalkers. Uh, yeah, you know, like basically taking out like a Karn. And a Vivian, maybe like, and put in like two Wilderness Reclamations. It would be better, but I'm I'm against Wilderness Reclamation, so I don't want that card. Uh, Tristani, I don't think you need too much. Just, I mean, it's not a bad card though. I could see playing a Tristani. Uh, but like, whenever you have Dawn of Hope, like being able to activate Dawn of Hope a bunch with your lands, and then being able to still untap your lands with Wilderness Reclamation and still have your Seal Away settle and more activations up, it is awesome. But all right, so that's Selesnia Control. So if you're watching this video later on, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're watching this over on YouTube.